Hi, this is Daniel Gibson with Academic Technology Support at ETSU. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad to a classroom computer using the Doceri app so that you can use your iPad as a PC remote and a digital whiteboard from anywhere in your classroom. To follow along with this video, you are going to need to have an iPad that is connected to the ETSU Wi-Fi network and also has the free Doceri app installed from the App Store. You'll also need a computer with a Doceri desktop client already installed. Every OIT managed classroom computer at ETSU should already have the Doceri desktop client. However, if you are using a computer that does not have a licensed copy of Doceri installed, then you can download the free trial from the Doceri website. Also, if you need assistance in connecting to the ETSU Wi Fi network from your iPad, you can look through the ATS guide on iPad Wi Fi and email setup. To find both of these links, just look in this video's description. Once you have all these things in place, you'll be good to go. Alright, first of all, we need to log into the computer using your own username and password. Then, start the Doceri desktop application by double-clicking on the Doceri shortcut on the desktop. If no shortcut is present, you can find the application from the Start menu. Just type in Doceri, and then it should pop up right away. When the application starts, it will prompt you to accept the end user license agreement. Go ahead and click Accept. You will then be prompted to create a new password for Doceri. This password will be specific to this computer and no others. If you use Doceri in multiple rooms or on multiple devices, then each computer that you use will have its own unique password because each instance of Doceri is isolated and does not store information in a central location. Don't worry though, because you can use the same password on multiple machines, and you can reset the password easily if you need to. Also, the Doceri app will remember your passwords for you, so you shouldn't even need to remember it. This password is mostly in place to prevent other people from trying to use Doceri while you are logged into the computer. Once you've entered your password, the connection dashboard will pop up. From this screen, you'll notice a couple of things, the largest of which is the QR code on the right side of the window. This QR code can be scanned using your iPad's camera in order to connect to this computer. If you're using a first generation iPad, then you won't have a camera, and you will instead need to use the IP address in the bottom left area of the window. Now that Doceri is running on the computer, we can move to the iPad. Go ahead and open up the Doceri app. If you are opening up the app for the first time, then an introductory video will play. You can skip this video by tapping on the close button in the top right of the video window. Once you close the video, you will see two buttons on the series home screen, from my iPad alone and through a computer. Since we are connecting to a computer in this video, I will tap on that second option, which will take us to the Select a Doceri Desktop screen. Again, if this is your first time using Doceri, then you may not have any connections here. You may also get a little pop-up window with some hints and helpful advice. Go ahead and close out of that. We don't need that right now. We've already taken care of that. You will see along the bottom of the screen a row of icons. If you have a first generation iPad, you will want to tap on the plus icon and then manually enter the IP address which is provided on the connection dashboard screen on the computer. If you have an iPad 2 or newer, you can press the camera connection icon, which will bring up a window with your iPad's front camera. Move the camera in front of the QR code on the computer and it will quickly capture the code and automatically punch in the IP address for you. Whether you typed in the IP address or captured the code, you will then be taken to a screen which asks you for your Doceri password. Go ahead and type in the password which you created earlier, and then hit enter. If everything goes well, then you should connect to the computer and see the computer's screen mirrored on your iPad, and you're now ready to use Doceri to control your PC and create annotations. Good luck!